finding unknown factors. So for a while now, as sixth graders, you've been solving problems with unknown factors. In this lesson, we'll solve problems in which the unknown factor is a mixed number or a decimal. So just a little extension of what you already know. Remember that we can find an unknown factor by dividing the product by the known factor. So let's look at this first example. We have a multiplication problem here, 5n equals 21. In this multiplication problem, the product is 21, and our two factors are 5 and n. In fact, you could look at this product, at this problem, rewrite it like this to see clearly that there are two um, there are two factors 5 and n that equal the product 21. So we can find this unknown factor n by dividing the product 21 by the known factor, 5. Let's rewrite this, pro this problem then as a division problem. And the reason we can do this is because division is the inverse or opposite operation of multiplication. So here's our dividend, 21. We're going to divide it by the known factor that now becomes our divisor. Simple uh, problem you've been doing probably since fourth grade. All right, we do have a remainder, and since there are no decimals in this problem, we're going to write the remainder as a fraction. So our, our answer is 4 and 1 fifth. So if we come back to our original problem, n equals 4 and 1 fifth. 